So, for the last nine days, I've been on a very intensive diet and training program to try and lose one stone. Now, tomorrow's day 10, which is also Christmas Day, and that'll be the end of my diet because I'll be celebrating with a big roast dinner, a few drinks, and a couple of socially distanced friends. So, um, yeah. Hopefully when I weigh myself tomorrow, I've lost well over a stone because these 10 days have been very uh, physically exerting and certainly uh, the diet's not great. But uh, I hope you'll stick with me and find out exactly how much weight I have lost. So the takeaway and delivery service has been running as a success. We've taken in several orders and it's been so successful that I deemed it necessary to buy the shirts and jackets just to prove we're an official partner of Taubazorg. So uh, now when people walk on the street they can see we're wearing the clothing and we are official representatives. But today is Tuesday the 15th of December and it's two o'clock in the afternoon. And yesterday was the 14th of December when they announced on the press conference that we would be in a five week lockdown. Hi! <laughs> so um, yeah, we're going back into a five week lockdown. They've closed all the sex windows, they've closed all the tourist shops all the little like bric-a-brac stores and the second-hand shops so it's only essential services again but I decided for the next five weeks I would go on a weight loss program again since I was doing roughly that last year now Amsterdam is the place to party and I've been stuck in the party vibe for at least eight months drinking partying going out going to all the the posh places around here so uh, I'm gonna find out now from this borrowed pair of scales exactly how much I weigh so let's slip off those shoes <laughs> I'm really dreading this and we're gonna step on to the scales so if you can see that it's about 83 now before I think I was 86 87 kilos so I pretty much put on most of my weight which isn't good so what I'm gonna do is start my diet again and the way I've done that is I found this amazing website called the British Corner Shop. Now they deliver authentic British foods from Britain. And some of the foods that are impossible to buy here are pickled onions and marrow fat peas. So in here, I should have a vast selection of those foods. What's that? Oh, that's my iron brew. I haven't had iron brew in over a year, so uh, I thought I'd order some iron brew. And lots of packing. They packed it well, I'll give them that. That's uh, more iron brew. I want to celebrate a little bit before I, uh, you know, go on this strict diet again. What's that? I think that's some jars of pickled onions. I'll tell you what, I'll open all this up and then uh, I'll bring you back. Right, so I've got 12 tins of marrow fat peas, eight jars of pickled onions, two jars of Coleman's mint sauce, and some not so healthy iron brew that luckily matches the color of my Taubazol jacket. But uh, no, I bought the iron brew simply because I haven't had it in over a year. Um, it's one of those flavors, you know, you just want to enjoy one thing sometimes, so I decided to buy that. So today's gonna be my last unhealthy meal day. I'm gonna eat, uh, probably like some sausages, beans and things like that, drink some iron brew with it. And then tomorrow, I'm back on to my diet. And for those of you that can remember what my diet is, it's basically pickled onions, peas, vegetables, and water. Oh, and hot dogs. That's the important part, the hot dogs, because that's the only enjoyable part of this diet. So, uh, wish me luck, five weeks, here we go. So for the last year, I've pretty much been eating everything I can get my hands on. I've got basically a personal chef that cooks everything I ask for. I've been eating out at loads of different restaurants in the area. I think I've eaten at every restaurant in Amsterdam. So um, yeah, today's gonna be my last fatty meal and then I'm gonna move on to my diet. It won't be quite as strict as before, but uh, we're definitely gonna try and lose a stone, maybe a stone and a half, 
And uh, the difference this time is I'm going to be doing uh, light exercises, so like press-ups, sit-ups, things that are going to tone the muscle as opposed to just losing the fat. Last time we did no muscle workouts, this time we're going to do some mild muscle workouts. So jogging around Amsterdam, jogging around the park, some press-ups, sit-ups, uh, sticking to my peas, pickled onions and uh, hot dog diet and we're gonna see exactly what happens when we incorporate those exercises. So, last fatty meal, tomorrow I'll do the body side by side, and then five weeks of, uh, of weight loss. So, I'll see you tomorrow. So I'm just on my way out to buy my hot dogs and gherkins, so uh, I thought it would be an opportunity to show you how close I am to the red light district. That's the famous Feels Good coffee shop and that sells a hell of a lot of weed. <laughs> That's Conning Siam restaurant, a Thai restaurant, that's my competition. And that's the windows. So my daily commute to the shop actually involves walking past about 20 windows. <laughs> Now these windows are technically not red light district, but blue light district. And in these windows, it's usually trans people. So, there's all my diet foods for the next week or two, uh, minus the iron brew, which I'll probably drink all tonight and uh, enjoy it at the same time. But um, for any of you who were wondering what those windows were that I showed you, even though most of you probably do know what those windows are, basically there'll be a lady or uh, somebody at least dressed as a lady in the window, usually to like a degree of supermodel, flaunting their bits, wearing virtually nothing every day and trying to coax you inside so you can pay 50 euros for your 15 minutes of services. But uh, yeah, back onto the diet. Here is my food for the week. 
So it's nice and early in the morning and I've just realised how much food I really have got left over from the shop. So um, I'm going to get rid of that today. We're going to start fresh with the diet. And if you remember, it starts with a strong black coffee, which is not my ideal favourite dish, but that's breakfast. So one cup, one portion of coffee, oh god, and some water. You have to excuse the mess, um, I have a lot of guests. It's gonna be a bit hot and a bit of water. any better. Oh, oh done. First day of the diet. So this is the clearest wall in the house to do this, but this is the before photo. So how I look before and in five weeks we'll do this again. So look number one, look number two, and let's go. So I have my strong black coffee for breakfast and it's now 3.57 Wednesday the 16th of December. And I've only just got around to finally getting ready to eat my meal. Now there's a few new vitamins on this diet. I've got some cod liver oil and some milk thistle. And of course I've got my multivitamins from my old diet. But uh, the cod liver oil is just for extra body functions, helping the brain and everything. And the milk thistle is for detox. Where I've had so much alcohol, I thought it'd be good to get something that's good for a detox. So I bought some milk thistle, which was surprisingly expensive. So I've got my diet plan here, but I'm gonna kick it off with the old trusty mushy peas, no, not mushy peas, marrow fat peas. Uh, hot dogs and pickled onions. So uh, let's go and make that now and that'll be the first meal on my diet. Now, I think we can all agree that that is one of the least appetizing meals on this planet, but um, it's very good for weight loss. There's literally only 200 calories in this dish. Uh, I'm then gonna have my vitamin tablets and uh, the meals will, will progressively change because you can't eat that for five weeks. So there'll be salads and chicken and things like that. And uh, of course, I will be drinking solely water. So if there's a safe way to get a bottle out of here without making the whole thing topple over. Yeah, there we go. So uh, I will have water every day, no sugary drinks, no cola, no diet drinks. Um, a lot of people ask the question, can I have Diet Cola instead, or Cola Zero, or Diet Fanta? Uh, the truth is, when you drink something like that, depending on your body type, your body can treat it as sugar because it recognizes the sweetness in the mouth. And it will cause your body to store fat from the foods that are already in your stomach because it's expecting a load of sugar to go down. So it can actually inhibit weight loss, even though it's a diet drink with zero calories. Keep to water and you'll have 100% success. Well, number one, yeah. number two, and number three. Tastes as good as it looks. 
So, I think the biggest challenge for me this time around with this diet is the fact that this time I'll be surrounded by food and the smell of food all day, every day. So right now the kitchen's cooking and I can smell loads of nice food coming this way and uh, I'm going to be sitting here cutting boxes of onions. And the thought of looking forward to a salad at the end of the day is not appetising at all, but the results are what we're going for. So, yeah, look at these onions. It's going to take me forever. So, as you can see from the lack of lighting outside, it is now night time. It's about nine o'clock. I'm just about to tuck into my lovely meal of peas, hot dogs, and a pickled onion. I'll see you tomorrow. So it's day three of filming and day two of the diet. So we're going to kick day two of the diet off with a strong black coffee. And then I'm going to head to work. Well, there it is. One strong black coffee. Oh, lovely. So for the full information on this diet, I highly recommend that you watch my other video, How to Lose Two Stone in Five Weeks. But uh, in that diet plan, I ate a chicken dish with salad and vegetables. And today I'm going to be substituting the chicken for something else. There's something that's a little bit healthier and uh, very low in calories, and that's frog's legs. So if you don't mind the awkward appearance of frog's legs, they're actually almost the same as chicken. Uh, sauce and paper and garlic. Oh, very nice. And that's the pack. Yeah. There you go, some lovely frog's legs. Okay, now. So in the last diet plan, you may remember I said that I wasn't going to use oil to cook any of my food. And uh, this time I'm going to be using oil to fry my meats because I need the extra energy because we're doing a physical workout. Before it was just jogging and we're using very low fat, low sugar foods. And this time we're going to be doing sit ups and press ups. So you need uh, a little bit of extra calories in there to see you through your workout so that your muscle is benefiting from it and you're not actually burning into your muscle when you run out of fat. So I'm allowed to fry my food. Anyway, here's the dish. Uh, if you like frog's legs, then uh, obviously this will look very nice. If you don't like frog's legs, then obviously this is a bit weird. So they look a bit crispy on the outside, but underneath, it's exactly the same texture as chicken. So uh, there it is. Mm, not bad.
a nice juicy bit of thigh there. That's hot. <laughs> It's very good. Hello, Middle Lake. Up and go. And this one. Lovely. Oh, lovely jubbly. So it's evening now and we've got another quiet spell so now it's time to do today's exercises. Now we're going to alternate between jogging and doing physical workouts so today we're going to do 50 press ups and 25 sit ups and you can do that in whatever order you want so you can break it down into 10 10 10 10 10 for the press ups and then two lots of 10 and a 5 for the sit ups depending how, how you want to do it. But I'm going to attempt to do 25 without dying and then maybe another 25 after, and then the sit-ups at the end. So let's start with the press-ups. Okay. Oh, it's been a while since I've done these. <laughs> I hope I can manage 25. I haven't done a press up in so long that's actually quite knackering. I could probably do about 40 I think and then I wouldn't be able to get up at all. Whew. So it's been about five minutes since my first set of press ups and uh, I should have mentioned it's probably best to stretch before you do this because tomorrow or the day after you're really going to feel it in here. So what I'm going to do now is do the second set of 25 press ups hopefully and uh, yeah and then we can do the sit ups. Really starting to feel that now. Oh. Okay, since we've already started with the press ups, we might as well get the sit ups out of the way as well. And then that's today's exercise done. My God, I used to do a hundred of those in a gym with a 15 kilo medicine ball on my chest. I used to go to the gym pretty much every day and press a hundred plus kilos on a bench. I used to do all the hundred kilos chest machine, the shoulder presses, all maxed out. And now I can barely do 25 sit-ups. Wow.
So I'm just going to talk about my second and possibly final meal for today. Obviously you can have three meals a day but today I'm using fried chicken and because I'm using that frying procedure I thought I'd limit my dish to two meals a day. So I've got chicken, tomatoes, peas, some onions and a couple of chilies. And I'm just going to mention a quick little thing about mint sauce. Now if you're not very good at diets and you hate the taste of a bad flavour from vegetables in your mouth uh, a little bit of mint sauce will clear that straight up and also mint sauce is notoriously low in calories i don't know if you can see that on here but it's basically 18 calories per little spoon which is nothing um so if you did want to incorporate one or maybe even two spoons of mint sauce onto your side dish then uh, obviously to dip your chicken in and things it adds a lot more flavor so mint sauce and uh, obviously I'm eating chicken and fried food now because I need the extra bit of protein. In the old diet we were just jogging so we were burning calories. Uh, with this time round we're going to be doing some sit ups and press ups which you've seen earlier. So uh, I need the extra protein so I can still build muscle mass. Um, yeah, so back to the black coffee in the morning and I shall see you tomorrow. Oh, really good. I do miss mint sauce. It's incredibly awkward to get over here. I haven't found a single shop that sells it. So it is Friday the 18th of December and it is 3.27 in the afternoon. Now I've had an incredibly busy morning. As you can see I'm not dressed in uh, completely jogging attire yet. I've got a jumper and a, a shirt underneath. So um, I've changed my shoes. I've got this uh, green pair of like fishnet style shoes on today. And uh, even though the other pair that I was wearing the other day cost 129 euros. Uh, yeah they're completely impractical for running jogging and even walking to a degree it's literally just uh fashion more than anything so i've got these more practical shoes on today i'm gonna go for a jog around amsterdam and uh then i can have my first meal of the day let's go so the shop officially opens in the next 30 minutes so i've got 30 minutes to go for a jog get back, make sure the doors are open and everything's ready to go. So uh, yeah, enough talk, let's go.
So, I've just got back from my jog, obviously, and uh, my knees feel like they've just been through the war. So, um, yeah, starting to feel this now. That's really starting to hurt from the press ups yesterday and the sit ups also. So, uh, tomorrow I might take a day to relax, but uh, we're still going to stick to the diet. Just no exercise. Let the body recuperate for one day. Oh, I'll see you tomorrow. So today's breakfast, surprise, surprise, yeah. a strong black coffee. <laughs> oh my god. So I thought I'd shave off my beard today, and I've actually got another guest staying with me today, so um they've offered to shave my beard for me. So I've got a personal chef, and now I've got a personal beard trimmer. Okay, let's go. Yo, what up? Today is day four of the diet plan. And just to prove that, I've got my phone here. Uh, internet. Uh, refresh there we go today is Saturday the 19th of December two o'clock in the afternoon and uh, I've got some bad news well it's good news really uh, I'm gonna have to cut my five-week diet plan short because I've got a big Christmas party to go to and I'm gonna be cooking the roast dinner so um, I'm gonna change this five-week challenge to a 10-day challenge because I started on the 14th obviously Christmas Day is the 25th so uh, how much weight can I lose in 10 days? So what I'm going to do now is uh, grab something to eat. And uh, I know I said I wasn't going to do any exercises yesterday, but uh, the reality is we have to stick to a routine. Except obviously if you feel like you're going to get injured or tear a muscle, then obviously do not do those exercises. But uh, let's crack on first with 25 press-ups. Or at least hope to do 25 press-ups. Right, here we go. Oh, you can feel that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Wow, <laughs> that really burns. So, I know the last few days, and with all my diet plan, I've kind of said you need salad, vegetables, hot dogs, pickled onions and peas, but the reality is, you can eat whatever you like. Um, at the end of the day, it's all about calorie counting and maintaining portion size throughout your diet and obviously giving yourself a good mix of vitamins and vegetables and everything else. So uh, I'm gonna, get, gonna start eating slightly what, what's considered less healthy items. So today I'm gonna have a, a mini cheeseburger, but I'm gonna make it so small that it's roughly the same amount of calories as my hot dogs and peas and things like that. So I don't want you to get caught up in that you must eat your salad every day and your, your rabbit food. But instead you can eat some things you enjoy, as long as you get that portion size right. Because at the end of the day, it's all based on calories. If you've got a, a McDonald's cheeseburger, or you've got uh, some vegetables, or you've got salad and fruits, whatever you're talking about, everything has calories in it. So you could technically, I guess, three or four McDonald's cheeseburgers every day and lose weight, depending on your body size. So, um, yeah. As long as the calorie intake is below what your body needs to maintain its weight, you will naturally lose weight. So what I'm going to do is have a cheeseburger today, 
show you that it's all right to have some extra things that you enjoy in your diet as well as pushing yourself to such an extreme level because it's all about maintaining a healthy routine. So uh, what I recommend is maybe uh, you can have one of your favorite meals a day but cut the portion size right down so it's, it's, it's minute, there's not many calories. And then with the other meals for the day, make sure they're healthy and balanced in vitamins because you still need your minerals, your, your minerals, vitamins, and of course enough fat to keep you going through the day and your protein for your muscle growth depending on what you're doing. So uh, today I'm gonna treat myself to a mini burger and I think it's still possible to lose one, one stone, maybe more within these 10 days. So uh, let's tuck in. So as you can see, this is a very miniature burger and it pretty much matches the same calories that I would have in my normal salad with a piece of chicken. So uh, what I've actually done is I've ripped the top off the bread. So we've only got the top case of a bread. We've got a micro burger with a sprinkle of cheese and then some gherkins, onions and a pickled onion just for decoration really. But uh, I can eat this and that will be classed as one of my meals. So if you are very awkward with diets and diet plans, choose the food you like but make the portion size very very small and then later probably back to hot dogs peas and pickled onions After you've been on a diet even for a couple of days, that tastes amazing. the vitamins and minerals sorted and the cod liver oil for cognitive functions Now, I know my sit-ups look very awkward, but there's a very good reason for that. A lot of people put a weight on their feet. So if we use this stool, you'll see it's much easier to get a, to get a sit-up. You could do loads like that. But if you don't have that weight, you have to use your own body balance. And that's where it becomes much more difficult. So you go... <laughs> it gets a lot more difficult because you've got to keep your feet on the ground and you still have to do your sit up so uh, that's two another 23 to go Done. So this is my evening meal and it's basically minced chicken that's been boiled with some cucumber, tomato, mint leaves and onion. So I'm uh, going to enjoy this meal and then probably that'll be it for today. I'll see you tomorrow.
so as you can see today I've been busy moving things around and for my exercise today I thought I'd skip the jogging and try a cycle ride. So uh, I got about 40 minutes outside of Amsterdam, nice long ride, 20, 30 kilometers, whatever it was, and uh, my chain came off. Now on this particular model of bike it's a very awkward chain so I had to snap off all of the casing that holds my chain in place so that I could put the chain back on to get to work on time because uh, yeah I don't happen to carry a screwdriver around most of the time so yeah I had great fun with that this morning but uh, aside from that I'm gonna tuck into once again a portion controlled cheeseburger so basically we've got the top of the bun we've got a mini bit of burger a tiny incy wincy bit of low-fat cheese some onion and tomato so just gonna enjoy that now and hopefully get some energy back because I've had a day of it. So once again, this meal is around 250 calories. You can actually lose weight with this. It may not be the healthiest way to lose weight with a burger, but um, it certainly tastes better than a salad. So I thought it would be very important to highlight one of the most misleading pieces of information regarding water. Now nearly every diet plan will tell you you should drink more water, you should drink as much as possible because it helps flush out all the bad things, all the fats. Now it's healthy to drink water and that's what I'm drinking on this diet, just water. But drinking too much is not good for you or increasing your, your water intake by much much more than you'd normally drink. Because in the competitive world of eating, competitive eaters drink lots of water to stretch the lining of their stomach, allowing them to consume more food. And if you are doing that, you're going to become more hungry. So if you're drinking water, which you probably are if you're following this diet, drink it sensibly. You don't have to consume gallon and gallon and gallon. I drink about three small bottles a day, which is one and a half litres. So don't go overboard. So I forgot to mention today is day five of the diet and there's the old phone. Uh, Sunday the 20th of December uh, 1906 in the evening. So um, yeah I'm halfway through my diet plan. Obviously the 25th of December is Christmas day and that's when I'm going to be eating uh, a large roast dinner and probably having a few drinks. So uh, this 10 day diet plan is now right in the middle and I'm not going to film anything for the next five days because it will just be the same regurgitated information it'll be me drinking my black coffee having two to three low calorie meals drinking lots of water and doing my daily exercise so um what i'm gonna do just for those of you who are interested on my halfway through point weight I'm just gonna slip off the old shoes and step on to the scales so right now i am 70 exactly 79 so what I'm going to do is try and aim for another four kilos in the next five days and then I will have achieved my goal to hit one to one and a half stone of weight loss. So it's very quick and easy to lose weight but the important thing to remember it's not the quickness of losing it it's the continuity after you finish this diet because that's when you need to find uh, a meal plan that works for you which is healthy balanced and has enough calories to keep you mentally and physically healthy. So um. Like I say, this is a five week, or in this case, 10 day uh, drastic diet plan. So it's not a long term diet. A lot of people will tell you it's very unhealthy, but if you put on weight unhealthily, what's the harm in losing it unhealthily? So yeah, I'll see you in five days.
So, today is Christmas Eve, Thursday the 24th of December, and the phone's just gone off, so let's put that back on. There it is. Refresh. 5.44 in the evening. So, uh, obviously I've been sticking to my routine all week, I've been doing my diet and exercise, and uh, of course, this time around, you, you've obviously noticed that I've been eating chicken, I've been eating burgers, but very small portions. So, um, yeah, the reason that I've changed it slightly to uh, a slightly fattier, unhealthy menu is because when I was in my, in my last job, most of my day, or 80% of my day, was in a sedentary position. I was sat down at a computer. Whereas now, in this job, for 85% of the day, I'm stood up walking around and going to the shop and things. So, um, the, the lifestyle change means I need to consume more calories because I'm burning more calories. And therefore, I can eat a slightly unhealthier portion of my diet. So, obviously, today's the 24th, Christmas tomorrow, so I'll be having the big Christmas dinner. So, tomorrow is the end of my 10-day diet, and uh, I think I've lost well over a stone. So. It's been 10 days of extreme grueling hard work. Um, I can now say it's very, very easy to do my 25 press ups and 25 sit ups. The muscle memory has come back. So I've actually increased that to 75 press ups and 75 sit ups. So uh, I'm feeling quite healthy now. I'm definitely uh, feeling the results. Walking to the shop and carrying the shopping back is definitely less effort for me now. So uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. So today is day 10 and it's Christmas day, the end of my diet. So if you're watching this at Christmas, Merry Christmas. If not, have a great day. But uh, I'm just about to slip into these, uh, <laughs> these colorful beauties and do my video side by side just to see how much weight I've physically lost uh, before going to work because I am working today and weighing myself on the scales. So uh, let's get on with it. So here we are back again. Hopefully uh, I've got the camera in the same place as last time, but here's the weight loss. So today is day 10 of the diet plan and officially day 9 because obviously the first day I was eating steak and things and iron brew. So here we go, just get the fingerprint. There we go, today's date and time is 2.19 in the afternoon, Friday the 25th of December. And I'm actually going to be here for the whole day because I'm, I'm working today till about 11. So uh, scales on zero. Just gonna slip off the old shoes and the ooh, and the hoodie. <laughs> gonna take that off. That'll add an extra kilo. So here we go. Back onto the scales today. After nine days of diet and fitness, I weigh exactly seventy-five kilos. Just short of seventy-five kilos. So, that's been an absolute success. And sometimes I'm a bit dubious of these scales, you know, because, um, well, obviously they, they can be inaccurate and things. So what I've been doing is chucking a 20 kilogram bag of rice on the scales for the last couple of days, just to make sure they are weighing 20 kilos. So that added up, that worked. I've lost the weight and uh, I'm gonna enjoy a nice, a nice roast dinner, but because obviously I'm working today till 11, that'll be tomorrow now, so I'm gonna enjoy a nice Boxing Day dinner. I'll see you next time.